What's up, everyone? It's GHL Geordie here, and I'm going to be going through everything reputational management in Go High Level and how it can benefit your businesses, your clients, because this is the most overlooked and underrated feature in GHL. If you want to do Google Business Profile Management, local SEO, or just make sure that they have credibility or credibility online, this is where you need to be. So you're in the sub account here and you're clicking reputation. All right, cool. So here we've got a dashboard here. You can see the reviews received in the last six months and the sentiment. Um, you can put in your goals there as well. You can see here over, over the uh, right here, the review trends. This you can often tie to business they're getting as well um, because the more people that come in, the more people leave reviews. Okay, cool. So we have the dashboard. You can customize the dashboard, um, but let's, yeah, you can even select different timeline. Let's go over here to competitor analysis. This is a new feature in G GHL. And this is absolutely sick because you're going to be able to see your competitors and know exactly what you need to do to beat them. That is huge. So over here, we've got uh, my business or my, my client, Lacey Street Smash Repairs. And one of their competitors is Sheen Panel Service Sunshine. Reputational score is 69. Now, this is made up of multiple factors, not just how many good five-star reviews you got. We're talking the rate of reviews, the engagement, the replies to reviews, and even um, it replies to text messaging through the actual GBP itself, Google Business Profile. You got the average rating here. You got the average response time um, and the delay all there. And you can see here up against the competitor, the rating's different here. They've got way more reviews, but... They've got five day responses in their, you know, in their review responses and their review rate is 90%. So we've got a couple of leg ups, but we're far behind our competitor in terms of reviews. They're a pretty new business, been around about a year. Um, so this is excellent. When you've got a bunch of competitors in your area, you're able to just have a full outlay of where they're beating you or where you're beating them. And then you'll know what to target. So that is absolutely sick. Uh, we can scroll down a little bit here and you can see the actual sentiment heat map of where you're winning versus where they're winning. So you can see they've had six negative reviews, you've had none. Um, and here is the listings. I'm going to go through this in a second as well. All right, cool. So we've done our competitor analysis. Let's go over to requests. So here you can actually send the people on your list a request to leave a review. You've got their phone number, you've got their email address, and I'm not going to open up customer details there, um, but you can um, you can select email, SMS, WhatsApp, customize the message and get them to leave a review. You can even upload an image because you're going to get a higher rate of response when people see an image in the review request. And that is what it's all about, getting that response. Cool. So that's the request. Let's go into reviews. Here you can see a basic summary and dashboard of all the reviews here. You can see we've got AI responding to all the reviews. I'm going to show you that in a second. Cool, where they're coming from and ratings. Let's go to widgets. Now widgets is really cool because you're able to create your own widget straight off the cuff here. And you can toggle all these things on and off, right? So you've got AI summary that summarizes all the reviews. That's a little sexy AI feature there. You've got all these uh, summaries here too, you know, average rating five, you know, 49 reviews, blah, blah, blah. But you can toggle these things off as you see fit. All right. Uh, you can make sure that you only have five-star reviews, right? Um, you can change the layout into grid, into list view, into carousel. Most people like carousel. I'll show you my client's um, format now. Uh, you can even have your branding. See right there, my business, Biz Automate. You can have your branding on the actual review widget. Bang, I can take it off if they don't want it. Not that they won't. Cool. We can move over here, put a title on the widget. You can take these headers off if you want as well. Awesome. You can even customize the colors and layout of the widget itself. So for instance, Lacey Street here. They've got, they're trying to match the colors here. So they've got red in the titles there. They've got my little logo down there. But you can see it's a carousel. That they, they just wanted to keep it simple and it looks great. It shows credibility. It shows they're professional. And you're not having to, this is where it's really powerful. You're not having to manually place the reviews on the website. It's a review widget that comes with GHL. And all you have to do 
is copy the code and open up the text, uh, the block editor on your website, whatever website it is, and drop that code and you're done. You never have to think about it again. Huge value benefit. You can customize the dark, custom, whatever you want, right? Easy, easy. Over here, you've got even more settings. You've got what it looks like on the phone as well. Cool. So this is your review widget. Highly recommend you utilize this. Let's go over to listings. So listings is more about Google business profile, local SEO management, right? So this is where your business will feature on things like yellow pages or uh, Yelp or, um, you know, whatever you can really think of. But here's the catch. It does cost a monthly uh, fee to have them blasted on all these directories. I've done this with clients. It has boosted their local SEO and helped them outrank their competitors, but you have to pay for it. This is the alternative is that you go in manually and you subscribe to yellow pages, you subscribe to white pages, you subscribe to smash a near me or something like that. All these directories, what these directories do is give you a backlink back to your Google business profile and it lifts the credibility up and Google will reward you for having more directories because it's it classed as a citation. Now, the important thing to note is, and now I'm going into local SEO a little bit. The important thing to note is you need to keep the name, address and phone number consistent across all directories. If they're a little bit out, it's as if they're invisible. And that is why this listings feature, if you want to on sell this to your client, it is so critical because you can just do it once, set it up once and blast it out and it's done. Cool. Have a play around with that. Uh, it'll even do a review on um, the listings that you don't have as well. Cool. Let's get into settings because there's so much here. Uh, AI review response. So in here, you just select auto response, uh, wait time. You can have one hour, two hours, whatever you want, have it in minutes. Um, and here you can customize your AI to respond to your reviews in the way you want. You can set the prompt up yourself. You can add the different kinds of tone that you want it to do. You can make sure the review sources where they come from, right? You can select where you want it to come from. Um, make sure it only responds to five stars. Now, this is really important because if you've got those spammers out there or people trying to cause trouble, leaving you a one star review and the AI responds to it in an apologetic manner, which pro it probably will, then, um, Potentially, that's not something you wanted for your business and you wanted to respond in the most appropriate way. So make you, this, this makes sure that you only have auto AI responses to a certain level of stars. Really powerful. Your little sign off there. Excellent, excellent tool worth lots of money. Okay, cool. Let's move along. Review links. If you need to send people a review link, you can customize it. You can create it. You can do all that and send it through. Same SMS reviews are here. Now, this is really cool too. It's not just an SMS review. You can customize this so that if people don't respond, then they'll be able, they'll get sent another uh, prompt to leave a review. So let's build that out right now. Okay, cool. So here you have the template. You can uh, name the template, whatever you want, request with an image. Like I said, this is a real booster for your, look, we'll put a nice little image there of me. Uh, that's too big. It's not going to work. Try this one. We'll see if that works. Yeah, there it is. How good is that? Obviously that image has nothing to do with the business, but you've got a really sick image on your review increases your credibility, increases the likelihood for people to click it because people don't trust links. And that is what's really critical about putting an image on these links. So let's continue. You can put your message in there. Now, what happens if they don't respond? Set up SMS templates for retries. Boom. Let's put a new template in. Boom. Let's... Now we've got three retries happening right there. So once now, if they haven't clicked, so if we see that the automation will see that it hasn't clicked, it'll try again in three days. Maximum retries, let's go two. Boom. How sick is that? That is your reputational management recovery on autopilot. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, I'm not finishing settings, actually. Let's continue. Uh, email requests, you can do the same thing that you do with SMS requests in email and WhatsApp. Make sure you connect your WhatsApp and you'll be able to do that. Reviews QR. So, you know, when you go into the business and you see those little QR, customized QR codes for the uh, business to leave a review, you can customize yours here. Yours here. It uses the same um, 
basic uh, theme as a website builder. So you can drop and drag text and QR code and images and branding and coloring. Obviously, it's not crazy in terms of complexity, but it is going to make you look legit when you pull out a QR code for your business. QR codes, check them out. Spam reviews. You can turn automatically to text whether incoming reviews is spam or not. That's going to be really critical. Let's read this out. Enabling spam uh, detection of reviews will have the following impacts in the system. All new incoming reviews will automatically be uh, detected if they are spam or not. Users will have control to override the decision taken by the system. Like I said earlier, with the limit to four reviews, that's what this does. Schedule review replies can be stopped manually. So this is like the best thing that you should have on because if you've got all these automations going and you've got spam reviews come back, it'll shut that automation off. So you don't have to worry about doubling up and sending things that you shouldn't be. Okay, cool. And here you can integrate all your other platforms. That is really powerful for more and more credibility and reputation. All right, GBB optimization. This is a massive feature. Absolutely sick because this is going to show you everything you've done and everything you've done well and everything you haven't done well. You've got a GVP optimization score. Here we've got 15 out of 16. You can see the profile here. You can see it's got photos, got descriptions, got this and that. Obviously, we're missing one thing here. Great. Now I know what I need to do to improve the business. How good is this for Google business profile optimization? You can't beat it because you don't have to go through and search. You can literally onboard a client set them up with GVP score optimization and send them a report to go bang. This is what we need to do this month to make sure that you're um, fully optimized so that you're outranking your competitors. And obviously, if you go back to the competitor analysis, you'll be able to work even harder to do that. Uh, you can see here, we're missing a couple of links for social profiles, really helpful. And obviously, we've got the reviews here as well. Awesome. I think I've covered most things in the reputational uh, section, but there's one more thing I need to show you. When we go to marketing, you're going to be able to auto post any reviews that come through as a beautiful looking post. You go to marketing, I'll just go back a step because I went too quickly. You go to marketing, you go new post and post reviews. And here you can see we've got the configurations we need to auto post a review. So what I'm going to do is uh, make it pull from Google. Anyone that leaves a review on our Google business profile um, and, and if it's five stars, I'm going to want it to post through all these socials. Number of posts per day is one. Um, and when should we send it every day at this time? Bang. Uh, we can put it on Instagram story. We can do a Facebook story. Boom. And then you can select any kind of template here you want to make a beautiful looking post that will just post on automation so you're never having to worry about posting a good uh, review again. This is like credibility on autopilot. Additionally, you can add your own image so you don't even have to use one that's already provided for you. And over here, you can go to like Unsplash and have another beautiful kind of background. Let's go, um, I don't know, nature. Not that this is appropriate for, and you can like select this and use that. Oh, maybe we'll need to try it with a different, a different image. Go ahead and play with it and you can select any kind of backdrop image so that the text will place over the top. This is what it will look like. And you can write something like, I don't know, so thankful, can't even spell. For my clients, writing, doing it with one hand. Boom. Customize it however you like, and then this will create a post every day. Every time someone leaves a review on your Google profile, it'll post out to your socials. This makes you look legit, and your socials are getting activity happening without you having to do anything. You don't even have to go into social scheduler social planner and create all these posts and everything and like schedule them out, which is a real pain in the butt sometimes. I mean, it's important, but look at this. They don't need to do that because they've got all these posts happening based on the auto review posting feature. Okay. 
So I think we've gone every, gone through everything in the reputational management. This is not just Google reviews. This is Google business profile on steroids. Just want to reiterate that you can charge decent amount of money for this kind of stuff. There are companies out there charging six to 800 to a couple thousand dollars a month just for Google business profile management and reputational review. Cool. Hope this helped catch you in the next one.